You know, one of the biggest questions I get from parents is, what age should I give my kids screens? Should I allow screens in the bedroom? It's all about these limits. You know, what are some good screen limits um, or guidelines we can have? I think one of the important things is to not rush this whole thing. Um, I don't think we should deny our kids from screens, but we definitely shouldn't be afraid to delay when they get their first screen. Um, when you ask experts like Jim Steyer, president of Common Sense Media, uh, or Bill Gates, do you know that most of them didn't give their own kids smartphones till high school? Right now, the average age that a young person gets a smartphone is 10.3 years old. You know, that's average. So the pressure's on. Mom and dads, you know, constantly hear from our kids, all my friends have smartphones. Don't feel like you need to give your kid a smartphone when they're 10, when they're 12. They can't even be on social media till they're 13 unless they lie about their age. So don't rush that. Don't be afraid to delay screen ownership. And then once they get their screens, um, it's good to have some really good loving guardrails. And an important one would be no screens in the bedroom. You know, we live in a world right now where 41% of Christian young males look at pornography at least once a month. Now think about this, 40, that's four out of 10 Christian males. When you look at unbelievers, the number's up over 70%. This is a Barna study. Kids don't need the distraction of screens in their bedroom. Pretty much most experts out there from the American Academy of Pediatrics to the National Sleep Foundation, they all talk about how when you have a screen in the bedroom, less sleep, keep you awake all night, anxiety on the rise, all not good stuff. Dr. Jean Twinge in her book, iGen, summary of that book is, the more time you're on social media, the more depressed you are. We don't need these screens following us everywhere. The bedroom can still be a safe place. So delay screens, keep them out of the bedrooms. Those are probably two of the most important guardrails that moms and dads um, can impose with their kids.